So today we are going to see how to close out games, how to finish games off. So let's say you have a position like this. So you have. Please listen properly first. When I'm speaking, please don't interrupt. So you have a position where you have a queen extra and a rook extra. So how are you going to win from here? And what are you talking about draw? Why do you want to draw this game? So first try to understand what's going on and then speak. So how will you continue this game? What is the best way to take this game to a win? What's the plan? Sir, best plan? Not in one move, but can yeah, you? I'm asking a plan. I'm not asking the next move. Okay, my plan. Sir. Yeah. Rook two. Hmm. E six. And the idea is, what are you trying to do? Sir, I'm trying to put the queen in the middle. Right? No middle at all. You have to tell the squares. Queen where? Queen to six. Sir. Yeah, exactly. That is the best plan. So in a tournament, I saw many people when they get a position like this, they take this pawn and then they promote to a new queen and then they come and give checkmate. We don't need that. You already have a queen and a rook. Even you get that position is like this, where you had an extra queen and rook and you're trying to get a new queen. And then it became stalemate. Instead of winning, it became a stalemate. So you already have a queen and a rook. Now you have to just strike, you have to give checkmate. How do we give checkmate in these positions? You already told, right? You have to target the weak square or pawn. Queen is attacking it, king is defending it. But you have so many pieces, so put one more piece on it. And now you will take on f6. With which piece will we take you with the rook or the queen? Let's say black queen only. How will you capture? Rook. Okay, and in Aya, how will you capture the pawn? With the queen or with the rook? With the rook. Okay. And Ranak? Queen. See, this is the problem, uh, Yogit and Inaya. Why are we not using your main piece? Why rook? I was going to say No, no, no. That. You're going to say this doesn't matter. What you said is what matters. I will ask you what you will play. You said rook takes pawn. Why use the second powerful piece? Why not use the queen? If you want to give checkmate, you have to use your main piece. Not your second most powerful piece. Either piece can take, king cannot take back, no? so then why not use the queen? So only if you use your queen properly, you will be able to finish off games like this. If you use rook, game will go on. Queen takes pawn is the best way to continue. King will move. And now let me ask Yogi, how will you continue Yogi? So to e7. Yeah, good. Rook to e7, I move my king here. What next you will be playing. Yogita in Naya first. Ranak is the more experienced guy here, yeah. What next you? What your rook and your king is sitting right there? Now what is the next step? Okay, Naya. The rook to E8. Rook to E8, King will again come back. To h7. So that wouldn't help. Yoga, yoga. Let's see what yoga decides. Only if you win games from here, you'll you'll be able to finish games fast. You have a rook and queen. What's the next step? Ranak? Sir, queen to g7. It's a one more checkmate. We are not using the queen. That's a problem. Why are we not thinking of queen? You have a rook here, queen here. All you to do is give checkmate. The queen has to go right here. That's it. Game over. The king is sitting in the corner. All you have to do is go there and say hi. You have to just put the queen in front of the king now. So that we should not hesitate to do. We have to give the checkmate with our queen. Again, use the queen, not the rook. Don't think of rook. Inaya was playing rook eight. No, not rook. Queen. Queen is your main piece. See, what I use the queen. This is how you give checkmate. Okay, let me ask this question to Yogit. And in Sir, one time you gave me that checkmate when I was playing with the Yeah. Sir, so, so can also tell this one. No, 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 please have a seat. Yogi, can you, Yogi Tarinaya, can you tell me what is the best move for white in this position? What will you play for white? Okay. Sir, okay. First, Inaya. Ah, yeah. Going to see the... And Inaya? Going to um, <coughs> see seven. Yeah. So you know now how to use the queen properly. Yeah, you put the queen right in front of the king, game is over. I put the right? 
Okay. Now I'm going to give you another situation. <coughs> yes. Okay, we have another situation. You have a rook and a pawn. What is the plan to win this? How are you going to give checkmate? Yeah, in a, uh, yeah, in a, in a. I'm asking the plan. I'm not asking the next move. Ranak? Yeah, we pro yeah. Yeah, so the plan here is to get a new queen. You get a new queen and then do the queen and rook checkmate. That's how you're going to win this. Now, what is the next move? What move should we play is the question. What's the best way to continue? You can think and decide. Yes, Yogi? Fall to G6 says Yogi. Alright. Others? What will you play for? White. Rook to c4, huh? here. But why? How does it help you in getting a new queen or moving yeah. checkmate? Yeah. You do what is useful for the position. Yeah, rook to f3. Rook to f3. Well done. So pawn g6 is okay, but the problem is I'll come with my king. You're not going to promote just like that. The king will be there. So you'll have to now defend your pawn and then you have to bring your king and then you will do it. You don't need all that. When you have a position with a rook, and a pawn that's going to promote. You just need this king not to come here. You have a move better than rook f3, but the idea is correct. You can just cut this king off. Don't let the king come in. Why should we allow the black king to come and attack your pawn when you're going to promote? If you stop this king from coming here, then your pawn can go forward without any problem. No? So just cut the king off. Rook e3 or what Radak told, rook f3. Sir, when you were explaining that time, Oh, uh, e3 is even better. Huh, okay. But yeah, f3 is also fine. You basically have to stop the king from coming there. Now black will, let's say, come here. You just push the board. Right? No worries. So this is how we cut the king off. He comes here, we push. He comes here, what move shall we play in Aya? Then I take your rook. I mean, you can push. It's still winning. But why give up a rook? Yeah. Huh. Why again tease the king? You're like teasing the king. Come and attack me again, you're saying. When you're moving, move far away, safe. Now don't go right next to the king. You, yeah, you. Huh. H, okay, H2, H2, you're saying. Okay. You're saying? Again, you're going teasing the king. Why are you so, he's staying so close to my king? I like it. One second. King will again come and attack you, na? Why are you guys teasing the king? Come and attack me, come and attack me. Go far away, no? One more chance to you will. What is five? F seven. Okay. You can go far away. You don't need to go, go to F seven. You can go far as far away as possible. Here, here, anywhere, anywhere on this side is good. King still cannot cross. But yeah, and then you promote. And then you have to do the queen and rook checkmate, which everyone knows here. I suppose you just get a new queen. And now let's say king is here. You basically have to cover the lines. I, either we push him here or we push him here. If you want to push him here, which line should we cover first? Sir. Yes. F4. That is a wrong answer. What is Yogit saying? If you want to push this king here, which line should we cover first? G. Exactly. You have to cover 5. If you want this king to go here, why would you go to 4? Then king can go up also, na? If you want him to go here, first you cover 5. So queen g5. King moves. What's the next step you get? Let me play, let me play. Yeah. Huh. Okay, and Inaya? The king to huh. G3. Huh. Okay, see Inaya, this you need, need to learn. If you have a rook and queen, if you don't win the game, then if you don't give a checkmate, you won't win the game. 
So if to give checkmate, you have to make this king come here, right? So by going to g3, you're telling this king you can go down or up. He'll go up. Then you simply run over the board. There will be no checkmate. So you have to make sure the king goes only here. He doesn't go up. So for that, you have to cover 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not directly go to 3. Then nobody is covering 4. So his move is correct. Your move is correct. You go to 4. Or queen g4. Either move is fine. You have to cover the 4th line. King is on the 3rd line, right? So you cover the 4th line. Simple. Now let's say king moves. What's the next step, brother? G3. Yeah, now you cover the third line. Queen G3. Some people run with the rook, that's not needed. Rook is anyway dependent. King will move. Now you get what's the next move? Rook Ha. Huh. Yes. Ha. Huh. Yeah, rook has to good, very good. King moves, and now Vinaya, what is the next move? You've got the king on the last line. Your rook on second rank, queen on third rank, what next? How do you finish it off? <coughs> one person is thinking and you need to not raise hand with one person. You have to cover the last line no Inaya, you just go to the last line, what did you think? Which piece should go to the last line? You want to finish the game, right? Yeah. Huh, so tell me the move now. Yeah. Huh. Huh, what is the, what's the thing for that? King is on the last line. Rook is covering second line. Queen is on this line. So you just come to the last line. Checkmate. You cover last two lines, game is over. That's how you win with the rook and queen. Right? Okay, now let me give you one last position. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else are we going to play cricket? Huh? Yes, sir. Usually we play cricket after doing the positions. Huh? What is the nine talking about? So this is from a middle game position. It is it is white to play. What is the best idea for white in this position? This happened in yesterday's class between Anvay and uh, I believe Rayaj. Yes, you get. E. Ha. Ha. G. Three. Well done, Inaya. Are you focusing here? Yeah, that's it. Good. Well done. So you already have a threat. I mean, pin on the knight. So now we just but need even. We cannot go there. We cannot kill the knight because the king will take it. Pay. So what do we do? We get one more attack. You already told Ura what to do raise and for. Sir, I did not see. I thought the two G pawn is up there. Uh -huh. So yeah. So queen is attacking the knight. King is defending it. You put one more attacker there. How would you put one more attacker? You bring the rook also. And now you will take. Next step is queen takes knight. There is no defense for black. And Aya, what is white trying to do? Let's say black makes a move. What is white's next move? Uh, that is why you need to listen properly. You are not listening. I just explained what is the idea. And you have no idea what I told you. You need to listen properly in the class. 
When I'm explaining, you're looking here and there on the board. Then how will you understand anything? Why did I? Why did why why did Yogit play a rook here? What did I explain just now? No one, you didn't understand. You didn't listen. If you don't listen, you will not become better in chess. You are in a class, so at least pay attention here when you are in the class. Why he played rook here? Why? What was the point of playing rook here? Is it to play pawn move on the other side that we played rook g3? We played rook here. What's the reason for that? What can why do in this position? You get what's the next move? Yeah, you put a rook here so that you can take the knight. What else is the rook doing there? So when we do some move here, you should not look the other side and play another move on that side. You have to play what you wanted. You played rook here. Next step is taking checkmate. So if you play like this, games will be over easily. So positions like this happen when king is cut off from this side. These two pawns are stopping the queen from coming in. If these, if imagine a position like this, and the same thing happens. Black will be able to defend. How can black defend instead of with black's turn instead of playing d5? What can black do to defend? Sir. Yes. Black queen to f6. Yes, queen will come to f6, and now you can't take the knight. If you take the knight with the queen, I'll take your queen, and then if you take my queen, king will take. So you lose a rook for a knight. So that is possible if the queen would come and defend. But in the position we had. There is no defense. Wherever <coughs> black moves, this is going to happen. So anyway, so now we'll start. <coughs>